Okay, so you've mastered putting on the crayon as an eyeshadow and you're wanting to try using eyeshadow over the top for a real intense pop of color or just to really intensify the eyes and maybe the look that you're going for. So I'm going to show you how to use a couple of different colors over the top of the smoky quartz crayon that I've already blended nicely on top of my eyes. Now, if you're going to use eyeshadow over the top of the crayon, um, you can definitely blend it beautifully, but you don't need to pay too much attention to the blending because you can do that more so when you pop your eyeshadow over the top. So for the colors I'm using today, I'm going to go with Obsidian being the slightly darker color, and I'm using the smaller dome brush that we have, which is the number eight. Okay, I'm going to use about that much and I'm blending it into the lid. I'm patting it into the lid actually rather than tapping it. So I'm trying to get some of that pigment to drop down into the bristles. And I'm placing this over the top. Again, notice I'm not doing this. I'm placing it over the top by pr very small pressing over the top of that crayon. So normally what you would do is use a crayon that is slightly darker or at least the same color as the dark eyeshadow that you choose so the two together can just pair really nicely and of course still give that nice definition to the eye. I love the obsidian because it's quite a nice sort of, you can see it's got quite a golden color. And I'm just, as I said, placing that directly over. And you can see by doing that, it's giving me a seam. So I can see some edging here. That's why I was saying with the crayon, don't worry about doing all this beautiful blending if you are going to put an eyeshadow over the top of it because you are going to have to blend again anyway. So blend it away a little bit, but not worry about it. Okay, so that's Perfect. Love it. All right, other side. Again, not much at all. And I'm pressing it onto my eye. Now, a little tip for those of you that struggle with fallout, and this doesn't matter really whether you're using a loose or a palette. Once it's on the brush, it becomes loose. Um, and of course you can get some fallout on the eye. If you're not great at balancing how much to put on the brush and you find a little bit of fallout, then you could either do your eye look first before your foundation uh, saves you, of course, the drama of having to wipe it away. Or you could just simply place a little tissue underneath the eye, just like this. And place your eyeshadow on like that. Another little tip is you could use the fan brush like this and that will help catch any fallout as well. Okay, so that is the obsidian and again I've used a smaller dome brush which was the number eight because I wanted really concentrated colour. And now I'm going to go with a slightly larger dome brush which is the number nine and I'm using Charity for the eyelid. So you'll notice I'm taking it right from the corner over the obsidian on the eyelid, but not here. And doing that self blends this seam in here that you might get, it covers it, which is great. So it gives color, putting this second color in, but it also blends over the top of that seam that the obsidian has created with my natural eye color. Love that. Okay, so you could either choose a third color for under the brow, an illuminizer or something like that, that's completely fine, or even our base eyeshadow, or you come back to having your trusty spare clean brush, the biggest one that you can find in our kit, and you now just use that to sweep away that seam so that it's, you should not see a line between 
like this is not blended enough you want to get rid of that line so blend 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 when you think you've blended enough blend some more and then it'll be perfect Okay, like I've shown in the other videos, if you've taken this too far down past the eye, just grab a cotton tip to try and clean that up a little bit like this, just to get rid of any residue. And then your next step would be is to use one of our flat brushes with a tiny bit of concealer on it to sweep that up. Look, it gives a nice almost wing look as well. It just looks like you've just perfected your eyes yourself for hours and hours and hours. Perfect. Okay. All right. So that's how you can incorporate some eyeshadow over the top of one of your crayons. Have a play. There's so many variations that you can go with. Um, the smoky quartz and the amethyst are really good base colors um, to work with with crayons. And of course, if you're wanting really intense looking smoky eyes, then you might want to try our wind up onyx, which is the black eyeliner. You could draw that on as well. And then of course, place um, something like our quartz, which is a really dark chocolate over the top and then blend some of the other beautiful lighter colors. So there's so many colors you can go with two three up to you have a play try it without putting your foundation on first until you've got the hang of it find something that you go to and find something that you want to master for an event